What's going on, everybody? Eric with EKG Lawn, just wrapping up this two-day job out here, out in Mosley, Virginia. Um, gonna do this the old-fashioned way here. My cameraman left me. Nah, they were out here working hard today. Went ahead and cut them all loose. Great job. They did. I got a gr great group group of guys. They'll be getting a bonus on this one for sure. Here we are. Here's the transformation. Come around the front. Here's that Japanese maple that had all that dead in it. We did our best and cut most of that dead out of there. Whether that lives or not, I couldn't tell you. Looks like it's on the way out, but if they give it a good drink of water here and there, uh, it actually might make it. Um, but our guy over here was definitely taken out. Everything nice and edged, cleaned out. We left our mint. I think I said lavender in the original video. It was actually uh, mint. Crepe myrtles, clean them up just a little bit. They've been native, natural growing for a long time. We just kind of got a lot of the dead out of there, give a little more space and air. Anything that was kind of crossing, we cut out. Um, we didn't reinvent the wheel too much with those, but we gave them the proper pruning, no topping. I'm going around the side. Don't mind my uh, squeaky shoe here. Now, a lot of times you see these pavers, we pull them up and we'll replace them. But ones like over here that have been here for a long time, we don't want, we didn't want to pull them up because you, know, you get on them, they're all rocky and, and moving around. So we kind of left these ones be in place. I'll have to set this back up here in a minute. Old Rose hanging on, last legs. Everything's nice and trimmed. Pretty aggressive trims. Uh, they were fine with that, especially when we get back here to the roses. Not something I would generally usually do, um, you know, hitting them as hard in the summertime, but this place was just way overgrown. Again, they had been out of the country for several years. So we wanted to get it back looking right and where it needed to be. But Holly's got all trimmed up. This whole corner was a mess before, if you remember. Go ahead and shut this door here. Now look at our river birches here. If you didn't know from the first video, yes, there is a little pond back there. You can see it now. But look how that just really opened up this whole pool area and lets you look out and see the landscape. So there's a bunch of limbs. Keeps the limbs out of your hair too when you're walking by, smacking in your face. It might help with a little bit of the leaves falling in the pool, but not really. Uh, those river birches probably shouldn't have been put there in the begin to begin with, as we talked about in the first video because they just drop leaves and sticks and stuff pretty much year round. Uh, when it gets dry, they tend to drop a lot of leaves because they love water, hence the name river birch. See, those are roses that we really hacked into here. Come on around. More roses. I'm not even sure how well these roses bloom anymore being under these uh, river birch trees here. Skip Laurel's got a hacking. Really cleared out everything away from the pool house here, the pump house. Just so it won't be rubbing up against the uh, shingles. Down here in the fire pit. Now, we did get a little aggressive on this green giant. This is something I usually would never really do to a green giant because they're made for privacy. Um, but this, these branches were growing way out to here. We just wanted to clear some space in here to be able to sit down and enjoy the uh, fire pit a lot more. And again, we kind of took a little less over here because this one was sitting a little further back. So not as invasive, but we got a little more aggressive than usual. And as any mulch job, there's already leaves falling on top of the uh, freshly laid mulch. It's just part of the game. One last look at this, look at that. Got aggressive again with these river birches over here. We didn't want anything up on the house. We got as high as we could go. 14 foot pole saw, 12 foot orchard ladder. About all we could do there. We got the branches away from hanging over top of this magnolia here. Um, a couple limbs were hanging very close. A lot of limbs were hanging on top of this cherry as well, which we um, took away. That cherry right there has got a lot of breathing room now compared to when we first got here. I'll actually turn around here in a second. 
and you can see we ended up adding on this bed originally she was going to save costs because this was a big job but it just made sense to go ahead and include the magnolia along the way go on around down the fence there and as i pan back here look at that look how open that is now just you can just really enjoy all the landscape just by simply raising the canopy of your trees any trees would love you that much more too. Got our auto lichen laurels nice and boxed out. They like to, they tend to grow more boxy. They tend to like a more boxy style of pruning. Back to this Japanese maple before we peel on out of here. I believe the reason that this is partially dying, there's, there could be many reasons, but one of them might be the fact that this was topped at one point in time. Now we have come in here and topped it a little bit to get some of the dead out, which we usually don't do. You can see more fresher cuts, but you can see here, here we go. That's an old cut. And here's some old cuts up in there too, where someone had topped this entire tree. And you just don't need to do that. I don't know why a lot of people top crepe myrtles and want to top other trees. There's just no real need to do that unless it's been put in a place that it shouldn't be. It's a tree, let a tree grow, you know? Our black eyed Susans, if you remember, all wiped out and gone because they were on the menu for the deer. And they just kind of were done, the, but the flower buds were finished. They were all munched up, so it was just an eyesore anyways. So I went ahead and took them out. Well, there you have it. Eric with EKG Lawn. We're out here in the Chesterfield, Midlothian, Virginia area. If you want to get with us for a quote, the easiest way to do that is go to ekglawn.com. Fill out a request to form quote at the top of the page. Otherwise, you can call us at 804-690-8512. This is Eric with DKG Lawn. And as always, we put our heart into your lawn. Thank you and stay cool.